Salwete Omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. And this is the final installment of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3. You're wondering why I'm on the main overworld map? It's because I'd like to show you this. Oh, he tells you? I think he tells you this after you beat K3. If you can find all the DK coins, you can put them down as a deposit on my ultimate ride. Yep. We have three vehicles, and we can get a fourth if we find all the DK coins. But anyway, back to the main part of the game. In case you're wondering why everything is all red, well, it's because I screwed up my recording, and technically I've already completed the fifth stage. Not the boss, but... So this is actually... Actually, this is a, probably the third time I've done this one, not even the second. So, yeah, it kind of sucks, but what can you do? So, the gimmick for this stage is you're riding in this ro rocket barrel, and for the first half of, this, half of the stage, you're going down. Unfortunately, with the rocket barrel, you have to keep getting fuel to power it, because if you run out of fuel, you die. You can safely hit those bees, although they do give you a little upward boost, which you don't necessarily want. Also, if you run into a land surface when you're going to the floor, at least the floor, when you're going... Yep, there's what I was trying to say. If you hit the ground when you're going too fast, you die. Which also happens if you run out of fuel. This is Rocket Rush. This is probably the most annoying stage in the game, actually. It's one of those ones that could have been fun, but turned out not to be. Just because of the way they... Well, that was quick. Just because of the way they did it. Ugh, I hate Rocket Rush. I hate it to pieces. There are no bonuses in this one, thank goodness. No. Grab 15 bananas while you're in a rocket barrel, and you only have 25 seconds, and... There's a gap between two bees that, if you're off by more than two pixels, you won't make it through. I think you press down to slow your ascent. Left and right fire the left and right boosters, like right fires the right booster, and that makes it go left. Sometimes you kind of want to hit the beast so you can slow down a little. There's a button. Either up or down you press to slow down, but I can never remember which one it is. And now we come to the second part where we're going up. And it's even more annoying, because this is the only stage where you have to be just about perfect. See, I hit the ceiling. I can get away with that once, any more than once. And I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm probably not going to make it. Because guess what? I hit the ceiling twice. Three times. Definitely not going to make it. Out of fuel? No! Crash landing. In case you're wondering what happened before Rocket Rush, well... Boomer blew up the rock leading to it for 25 bonus, 25 bonus points this time. The leftover 14 you had from before, plus the 11 you got in the bonus world. Or than I got, whatever. And the reason everything is red is because when you got the last gear, Put, no, I put them, when I got the last gear, I put them all on a device that Boomer had. I can't believe I did that. Well, I got loads of practice with, with this stage because I screwed it up at least twice. It's just, it just wasn't my day. I don't, I don't know. I think I screwed up more recordings during the last world than I did during every other world combined. Anyway, so yeah, that would have been a gear had this been my first time through. Boomer blows up the rock. Then the device activates and turns everything red, 
and it brings up this from the watery depths. Canautilus, the true final boss. And by far the most difficult. This is definitely harder than the first kid world battle. Last time we explained it, I'm good. So we're fighting Kayrul for a second time, and like I said, it's definitely more difficult than it was before. Oh, brilliant. So basically, you throw the barrel into that sucky vacuum thingy on the ceiling, and time it right to hit him, except during this part. You can just throw it directly at him. So that's three hits. He has a, he takes a total of nine hits, and the first two thirds of the battle are actually very easy. It's only after that that things get tricky. Yikes! You definitely want to. Try to keep both characters during this part, because you'll need them for the hard part. And now that we've hit him five times, the conveyor belt on the floor starts moving. Okay, here's the hard part. The electricity randomly and without warning shoots from one of the bottom ones. Knobs, whatever you call them. Whoa! And it, you have to make the steel barrel absorb it. And of course, if you're touching the steel barrel when it's absorbing the electricity, you get zapped. Ah, uh, jeez, this boss battle makes me nervous. I do not like this one at all. It could be fun, but it's just so gull darn easy to screw up on the electricity part. I hate having a low margin of error. That's why I hate Rocket Rush so much. Because it's just too gull darn easy to screw up on. I like to set the barrel like really close to the knob. Ah, y'all darn it! Why is it? No, they give you such a small margin of error there. Particularly if you don't hit the noodle with the barrel. I haven't really figured out a good strategy for this part, but... Ah, that's the first time that's happened. It's like there's absolutely no way to tell which side the electricity is coming from. And you can't even press Y to outrun it, because if you press Y, you pick up the barrel.
whether it's easy to hit him with Kitty or Dixie on that part. And now we have a moving conveyor belt and electricity. Joy! Oh, and apparently I guess he takes 10 hits. Eleven? No? Ten? Oh, there you go. And there's our last and there's our 40 41st and last DK coin. Phew! That is quite a tough fight, just because of those last four hits where the, where the electricity is being absorbed by the steel barrel. So, that's about it for this one. But we're not quite done with the game yet. This is about all... I'll show off the rest of the percent completion in a little bonus video. So I'll see you that in the next... I'll see you in that one next time.